Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have no idea. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you? OK, well, I've not had the best day. This cannot... It can't be a coincidence. I got a call from Vanessa. She never... I didn't know she... Well, we've not spoken for I don't know how long. Uh, what she said? Just that you and Moira went for a drive and you got into an argument and she dumped you somewhere north of Penrith. <sighs> yeah, well, that's exactly what happened, so... So how did it happen? Well, you know what Moira's like. I know exactly what Moira's like. She's got a terrible habit of leaving people north of Penrith. Seriously, why did she leave you? Anyway... Thank you. So go on. Hang on. Boo's in the car. Yeah. Brought it for you. So... Moira left you stranded because... All right, well, last night she was... She was being unusually nice about you and me, about you not being around. Basically said she'd bring me to you. Anyway, I don't know if you ever spent two hours in the car with Moira and her musical taste, but... Needless to say, we... failed to agree on a suitable soundtrack for the journey. And here I am. This is over music. Well, all right, she wasn't happy that I'd sacked you. And I know that wasn't the reason you left. I know there's the other thing, the thing about... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the not wanting to live with me. I remember. <sighs> How did you find me, anyway? I told you. Vanessa called me. Yeah, and said I was north of Penrith, which kind of can apply to loads of people. Not that I've seen anyone around here. <laughs> I put a tracker in your shoe. I'd find my whatever thing. When was this? A few weeks ago. Why? Why not? For loads of different reasons, actually, but primarily because it's a bit creepy. And how did you even know I was going to wear... <laughs> I didn't put a tracker in your shoe. Moira dropped me your pen. So you have spoken to Moira then? So anyway, I'm going to need a lift home. No. No, it's too far a drive. Well, then don't drive straight back tonight. Or ever. Well, not ever. Well, yeah. Well, you, you know what I mean. Oh, no, I totally get you. You've never been clearer. OK, Mackenzie, I'm sorry that I sacked you. You can have your job back. Or you can find your own. Or not. And the whole living together thing, well, we can talk about that, but please don't go off abroad. I love you. And I know you love me too, because you've told me that that's the truth. So please, please, will you just come home? You'll like this. It's going to be all right for you, or is the mucky stuff no longer good enough now you've been back in the motherland? No, your mucky stuff always suited me fine. Or we could skip this and uh, warm up some other way. That's a good idea. Let's go to the pub. Are you serious? No, come on, we can go to the pub anytime. Well, we can go upstairs anytime. Which we've demonstrated on numerous occasions. OK, look, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry for what happened and sorry for what I did. Oh, you are. What was that again? <sighs> Firing you. Oh, yeah. Huh. I'm really sorry. And I've really missed you and I just... I wanted to show you how much. Well, what better way to say sorry than to take me back to the pub that you fired me from and tell me fill my boots? <laughs> 